Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast, and today we're going to talk about Bolin's amazing PTZ cameras. We have here the BC9. It's this beast of a camera, and it has just about everything you could ever want in a PTZ camera as far as features are concerned. It has a Sony 4K CMOS sensor block. It is capable of bringing a huge amount of light, even in low light situations. Because of the size of the sensor, uh, it's capable of bringing in and reproducing amazing color fidelity with very low noise. Uh, it also has a wide variety of connectivity methods. It's uh, powered by PoE+, it's got 6G SDI, it's got HDMI, it's got HD base T, uh, optional uh, HD base T card, it's got an optional SDI fiber card. Uh, and it is capable of communicating in a variety of different methods. Visca IP, RS-232, RS-422, HDBase-T, and even a remote control. We also have the VCC7. It's sort of like the BC9's little brother. Uh, it has many of the same features that the BC9 has, but uh, not the gigantic sensor size, not the 6G SDI. It has a 1 over 2.5 inch sensor. And if that's a little bit of a difficult number to digest, think of it as just drop that 0.5 and think of it as 1 over 2, which is a half. It's like a half inch sensor. It's actually a little bit smaller, but uh, it has a commensurately lower price tag with still an amazing array of features. We also have Bolin's uh, IP controller, uh, also controls by serial, and we have a lot to cover here. So let's take a closer look at some of these things. Let's start with the BC9. Uh, here's the good bits in the back. Uh, we have a LAN uh, connector, which takes PoE++. Um, I have powered this off of a variety of routers, so it, it is a little bit flexible, but uh, technically you need that PoE++. We've got three BNCs. Um, these can be 3G, 3G, uh, 6G, or 6G, or dual 3G to provide dual link 6G. Uh, this is Genlock, uh, also a very special feature on the camera, very hard to find PTZ cameras with Genlock. This little rotary dial here is how you set the resolution of the unit, uh, all those different frame rates that I mentioned. Uh, currently it's on uh, 4K 2997, uh, that's the number four slot. We have a HDMI connector, which is currently uh, inactive. We have an HDMI connector, which is um, currently putting out either HD or 4K, depending on the resolution selected. Um, we have your remote selector. We've got audio in and out. We've got a power connector if you want to power it, uh, not via PoE, but why would you want to do that? And then we have um, RS-232, uh, sorry, RS-232 and RS-422. Um, and then the rest of this is just for uh, USB for firmware. And then down here we have the card slots. The card slots are the optional slots for putting in um, the SDI over fiber or optional HD base T. And now let's take a quick look at Bolin's controller. So this is their IP based controller and we have the um, PoE power coming in via the network. So this does have 12 volt power so you can power it the uh, the way that you normally would with a 12 volt wall wart, but uh, I like PoE power. And uh, there is also ports for RS-232, RS-422. So it's a very flexible controller in terms of controlling methodology. However, I like IP control and I have set uh, our two cameras up at uh, 1.160 and 1.161. Um, I can switch between them by entering the the number and the camera. So we're on camera one, the, the BC9, camera two. I just hit camera two and enter and you see it changes to 161 and now I am controlling the, um, the VCC7. But back to the BC9, uh, camera one, camera, and now we're at 160 and you can see that I'm now controlling that. Um, the control surface itself has obviously a joystick, uh, pan, tilt, zoom, uh, top button. It's also got a zoom rocker. So depending on how you like to work, whether you like to work with a zoom rocker or the, the Z control, the zoom control on the joystick itself. Um, these two knobs up here, uh, as well as controlling the menu options, also control the um, pan and tilt speeds. Uh, right now they're set to medium. There's um, little indicators uh, as to the speed, but if you wanted to really slow things down, actually that's zero, let's put it up one. Uh, now this gives you extremely fine uh, PTZ control, um, but differentiated between pan and tilt. 
We'll keep that at a normal speed for the rest of this. Presets, um, we can call a preset by hitting one and then call, and it says run preset, two and then call. And if I want to edit that preset, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go down. Um, we've got the focus knob down in the corner here. Uh, I'm just gonna adjust the focus a little bit, and then I'll hit two, and then I'll hold preset for three seconds, and now it says define preset two, I'll do one, call, that takes us back to one, two, call, that takes us to our new preset, including the adjusted um, focus position. Uh, we can also use the controller to search for new cameras. Uh, it will control um, OnVIF based cameras, Visca IP. Um, we can also control the exposure mode. So iris priority, shutter priority, manual iris and gain, manual shutter gain, black level, um, and then auto exposure. And then this is the wheel to control those functions, red and br blue, um, white balances on auto, so they're disabled. And then uh, this is the, the focus with um, manual or one push autofocus, uh, which is a really nice feature. I hope you enjoyed that tour de force of Bolin's uh, premier products, uh, the BC9 and the VCC7. They're by no means the limit of their product line. They have uh, incredible products coming up, working with Dante AV. Um, they have outdoor products um, with enclosures. They've pioneered uh, the nitrogen enclosure for um, a PTZ camera. So they have a lot of different products, um, including decoders for their HD base T. There's a, a full, full line of solutions for extremely high quality live production um, PTZ cameras and uh, associated peripherals. And if you have obviously any other questions about the Bolin products and controlling them and working with them and supporting them, by all means, feel free to reach out to us here at US Broadcast. Once again, I'm Eric Pratt. You can find us on Facebook or YouTube or our website is usbroadcast.co. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you.